how do we distinguish on brain scans post-traumatic stress disorder from traumatic brain injury? This is a study that we published earlier this year, July of 2015. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a combination of traumatic recall, which can be flashbacks or nightmares, sympathetic arousal, meaning high heart rate, sweating and anxiety, and then avoidance of triggers where traumatic brain injury, of course, can be a closed or open head injury, rated mild, moderate, or severe. And mild is often normal on CT or MRI. And the patients get really confused because they're suffering a lot of symptoms, which we call post-concussion syndrome. These can include things like headaches, especially with physical or mental effort, slowed thinking or fuzziness, it's called. Amnesia is another common symptom. So these often occur together because things that injure your brain are often terrifying motor vehicle accidents, war, falls from high heights, fights, you name it. The symptoms overlap, but treatments are different. For instance, insomnia, poor frustration tolerance, reduced impulse control, and low mood and energy can be found in both of these disorders. So what we found was that in traumatic brain injury, there's decreased activity in the frontal and temporal lobes, whereas in post-traumatic stress disorder, there's increased activity in deep brain structures. The first one's the thalamus, which is like the relay station of your whole brain, and then the basal ganglia. And we were very honored when this study was picked up by Discover Magazine as number 19 of their 100 top stories of 2015.